Beautiful trout river, got a chance to fish it later. But we know that Turner painted down here somewhere, but we've yet to find the composition. That's quite nice actually. Here we are at the bridge on the river where we gather um, Turner once painted here sometime or other. The view the river has changed slightly, I'm sure, in its uh, course. A bit of water running through it, but uh, I need more sunshine to paint. <laughs> The first part of the day was which of these two compositions to do. This one or this one. But I think I've decided on this one. I've got a nice little foreground here. I've pushed the colours for today. I want to push these colours today again. A nice impressionist piece. Um, I think this bridge with all the sunlight coming down the pool, I think it'll come round a bit more yet. So I just like it even more sunlight across the sea. Um, and to say, try to get this lovely uh, mid-autumn sunlight today. We're on this trip over here in North Yorkshire, and probably the only chance I'll get to paint today because we've only got a couple of days left. We've been very busy, a little bit of everything, a bit of fishing in all sorts today uh, for these last few days. Um, so this is my one chance to do a slightly, slightly larger canvas. Rose is not too well this morning. I think we over ate, overindulged a bit last night, and drunk. so. Um, so I've dropped her back off at the, at the, at the house and she's going to rest and I've just come down for a couple of hours here. The first thing I'm going to do is work out the composition. And the river comes about halfway here, to the top of the bridge. So I'll do that. See how I'm set up here, my brushes palette, mixing, on a chair so I can just reach it rather than me sit on the chair. We're going to have a slightly mottled canvas watch me today but I don't think that'll make too much difference. But I see next if I'm in the way too much I think we should be alright at that. You'll be able to see a bit of what I'm doing and how it's going. Uh, although I'm not close in on the canvas but you should be able to see how it works. So first of all we'll get this drawing sorted out. Over into there. And on top of that comes up this same distance. Right, a great rod of white from our uh, abstract acrylic range, a heavy body. And we'll be getting on as fast as we can. Easy to put these lights in at the end, but just as I had that on my brush, I thought I'll use it. It seems dark against the um, white canvas at first, but once we get more in it will make more sense as the light disappears. And then I want to add a little bit more warmth to it, so I'll go a little bit bluer as we come up and through here. And then a bit warmer with it as I take some cerulean blue and come up into this sky. Beautiful blue. The sky going down into turquoise here. We'll put some pink in there in just a moment. This lovely turquoise blue that's coming right up and through here. Be a bit pinker in a moment. We'll put more colour over this. A bit more water. Let's slap the paint on to get a good layer quick. I haven't got all day. Just got to, trying to cut this in a few hours as usual. More of the warmer blue now. So a scene that's painted, of course, uh, it was Turner also had a go at, but for a different view altogether, but um, don't worry. Start to really find these colours. As soon as we can, we'll start to push colour. And the tones, this is too light a tone yet, but just to get me going. So you'll see my drawing just underneath. It's important to me. I know where things are. It's going to lose this white canvas at the moment though. Lovely places to be these. This is why I like to come to spots like this, is to paint these beautiful scenes. Be a part of it. Warmer colours, some orange and a bit of, a bit of red just to add into this. Doing my medium and dark tones first then. Just feeling these. 
And I'm going to go back in with the lights as the sunlight comes around and try and capture the light coming down through this. So you can see, I feel even the stonework of the bridge coming around here. So we want to paint the reflections and the depth of the water before we paint the horizontals over the top, really, each first. There's reflections coming down, and then we can come across and backwards and forwards with the surface water. I'm going to have to come back with a smaller brush and put some of these ripples in, I can see. It's cools and warms. And we'll just <coughs> whip in this tree in the background with this darker colour for the minute, just to get rid of the white before I put back in some lighter colour over it later. You can see the painting a bit better now the light's coming around. Also see how much the light is going to change as well. Hard to believe that, but some woman was just fly tipping a load of rubble and stuff across the end of the bridge there. Can't believe what these people will do. Okay now I've got to put some of these darker colours in so I need to move on as quickly as possible. Get it in there. Just on with the green in just a minute. Warms and cools playing against each other a bit more here. As it comes forward. And a warmer. Start to find the warms against these cool shadows down here. Brown if you like. Put orange into the deep purple now. Lovely, lovely colours. Right down through here, look at a wash of this dark in here because I want to uh, come across the other green later, green shortly. So to get rid of this white canvas, that's what we've got to do at the moment. Get rid of the white canvas. Make your brush marks about what you're doing. Don't worry too much about what they are. You can make the brush marks about what you're doing and hopefully it will make sense as you have these correct colours in the right places and the right shapes and the right tones relevant one to another. Here I'm putting on some very deep turquoise to find these cooler greens here. Just painting in some texture underneath here of these grasses. No texture yet so much with these leaves. I've just got to try and find the lumps of the branches first of all before I come back with more textures and those you know, leaves. If you can see this just alright as I'm doing it because I know it's not ideal for you but I've just got to paint and that's the last, that's the main of this around here. I'll come in a little bit more onto it even though the light is not ideal for you at all. Just to help you feel this, uh, see this picture a bit better. I know I've had to do a lot more of them yet but just to get the feel of them. I just brushed it too crude but I can't make up my they're painting totally on, on little brushes. I've got to carry on with the big slabs at the minute. And then we can start to put these darker colours in, darks, warms and cools, to push the other back. Around there. Okay, we have to start with a slightly smaller brush. We're going to, soon we're going to work back in some of these um, much lighter highlights, which is what we've been waiting for. Of course, should do it now. I'm going to look at some of these lovely light areas of creams and things here. Let's just take a nice, talking about cream, let's just take a nice warm cream with a bit of um, cadmium yellow into it and see how light we can go there with that. Push the sunlight here. And let's look at these lovely red orange buildings behind here, these roofs, which are so important. Really want to get those right. I 
You've got lovely colours going on in the, the background and the shadows as well, reflected colours here. Warm colours going on up there, reflected colours happening around here. Here. Suddenly the painting comes to life, doesn't it? Let's go back to these greens behind there as well. Look at those, how lovely they are. Look at these lovely colours behind here, these beautiful golds that are going on. Look the ocean colours that I haven't even touched on yet. Paint with light. We've got our mid tones done, our dark is done, we start to paint with light. The tip of a filbert brush is very useful for this kind of work. You just can't see this, can you? What a pity. Oh, well, I've got to get on with my painting, I can't uh, change the canvas to another angle for you on this one, I'm sorry. <coughs> just had to bring the canvas round to here because the light has just got too much from behind me and I need it in front now again so I think I'm on the final details in this one. I don't want to overwork it. And, uh, I do. I like to get sparks and hints of turns here. Show windows and whatever. Well, I'd say I've done on this one. There's our view. And here's what we've produced from it in the shade here. There we go. A fairly impressionist piece. Not quite as loose as I would have liked, but. Uh, Hopefully I've succeeded. I won't really know until I get it back in home and have a look at it.